Black Friday is the traditional start to the holiday shopping season, and this year it takes on additional importance for retailers as concerns grow over the state of the economy. These are some pictures from Minnesota today where crowds in search of bargains flocked to the stores. The National Retail Federation estimates that more than 166 million Americans will shop between Thanksgiving and Cyber Monday this year. Today alone, more than 114 million are expected to shop. That's a big jump over last year. Elise Preston has more. Holiday bells harmonize with seasonal sales to usher in the most wonderful time of the year. Customers will be hitting stores all day long to kick off Black Friday. The National Retail Federation predicts more than 166 million people will make purchases this weekend, with 114 million planning to shop today online and in stores, even if the prices might be higher. How is inflation impacting shoppers, particularly on Black Friday? We're seeing a lot of consumers say, I need to make every dollar count. And I think that's where we're seeing a lot of focus on finding great deals and promotions. And that could be bringing some of the interest to this year to Thanksgiving weekend. The NRF predicts there will be 8 million more shoppers this year than last. For nearly 60% of shoppers, the deals are too good to pass up. Others say it's for tradition or a way to enjoy their time off. Where are people going to find the best deals? The hottest product categories are going to be electronics, like TVs, speakers, headphones, small kitchen appliances. So that's your air fryers, that's stand mixers. And finally, we think that there will be some great deals on board games and toys this holiday season. What is the best way of attacking getting all those deals this Black Friday weekend? You can create a wish list. What that allows you to do is kind of organize your thoughts, organize what you're going to get for folks, limit the additional spending that might be more impulse based. Small tips will go a long way for saving big this weekend. What are you seeing out there? I mean, are you seeing bigger deals or what are shoppers saying about the amount of people that they're having to walk around to get to these deals? Well, Omar, if you take a look around the store, there are people in here. There's definitely a steady stream of shoppers, and it's been that way all morning since they opened the doors. Uh, but you're not seeing those huge, hectic crowds where people are, are fighting over doorbuster deals. I don't know about you, Omar, but some of my favorite stores have actually been advertising and mm -hmm. participating in Black Friday deals since earlier in the month. So people have been saying that they've actually been shopping this whole month. They've been kind of taking part in deals here and there. People are also really tied into these bargains. They're not spraying a bunch of different stores. They have a list that they're attacking. Uh, and that is a result of inflation because everything across the board, things are just more expensive. So shoppers are really sticking to lists as they're coming. We've also met quite a few Black Friday shoppers who've never participated in in-person shopping, and they're doing that this year because the crowds just aren't that crazy. So they're saying that this is a pleasant surprise, that they're coming in and out, getting exactly what they wanted, and leaving, Omar. Are, are rising inflation costs expected to, to impact certain sectors or certain things that people are shopping for more than others? Uh, for example, are we going to see cheaper high-end or luxury brand purchases, or are electronics going to be the things to get? They're always on sale, but... Usually it's like, where's there a surplus? That's where the sale is. What are you seeing? Yeah, so those luxury items, those shoppers will continue to get those items, right? They're not necessarily looking for deals. If they find one, maybe, but those shoppers will always be there. We have heard from some shoppers who said that they aren't necessarily as worried about inflation because they do have, like, a steady flow of income. So they're just kind of out browsing, shopping for what they want. But we have heard people uh, say that they are really sticking to those budgets because in, in all honesty, they need to. We spoke with someone who got a, a deal hundreds of dollars off on one item, but he said that everything across the board was going up. So that money that they saved today for one gift, it's definitely going to be used for like essentials that they need moving forward. So people are just kind of, you're seeing a mixed bag, but people are definitely doing a lot of checks and balances. And if they've saved money shopping today, they say that that money is going to 
to be spent elsewhere for sure. Oh, it, it's a science. People are price checking on their phone as well. Now, what are some of the best deals you've seen so far? Well, I got to tell you, we spoke to uh, an 11-year-old boy and his dad. <laughs> the dad surprised the boy because he was just doing so well in school. So he got a gaming system Ooh. that was typically $1,200. And they got it for $400. That's an $800 uh, difference there. Uh, so they're using that to go like shop for, uh, for other things. But we've been talking to some people. Some people have been saying that the discounts are, are really cheap. But others, uh, not so much. It's kind of a mixed bag on that, too. Some people were really excited about some deals. We spoke to some woman who said that she got a juicer. It was $25 off. But she was very excited. Me, I want to see more money off. Me, personally, yeah. I always like to save a coin. Um, but I, I would definitely say that gaming system was probably the biggest discount uh, that we've heard so far. When we were talking to the family, our whole crew, we were like, wait, what? How much money did you save? <laughs> well, now everybody who's looking for a gaming system like that is going to be the, out there in Woodland Park, New Jersey with you. Elise Preston, thank <laughs> you very much. <laughs>